Hey everyone, my name is Amrock and welcome back to my guides. Today, we're gonna cover how to download and properly set up ArcDPS. This should not be used to be toxic to others. This is an amazing add-on to see what part of the group is lacking. For example, if the enemy is killing you from condition damage and you have a low cleanse count or the enemy is hitting you and your group has no strips, then you know what classes you need to help you survive. Another example would be if you have one person dying too much during fights, you can ask them if it's the position in the fight or if it's a gearing issue. If you want to support the channel, please leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date with my videos. You can also find me streaming on Twitch Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also follow me on other social medias with links in the description below. Enjoy. First off, you'll need to connect to the World Wide Web and search for Guild Wars 2 Arc DPS. For those that are lazy, which is like 90% of you, I've got the links in the description below. Scroll all the way to the bottom and click on the X64 current download. This will bring you to an index. Download the D3D9 file and you will receive a warning at the bottom. Just do it. What's one more virus, right? Anyways, this is a well-known program within the community and although it is not officially affiliated with ANET, this in no way breaks the rules and is safe to use on your computer and game account. After the file downloads, right click to open the file in a folder and then right click on your Guild Wars 2 shortcut and open up the folder. Open up the bin64 file and drag and drop the d3d9 file into this folder. Heads up though, there may be times when ANET makes an update that if you have an outdated ArcDPS version, it will cause your game to crash immediately. Simply delete the d3d9 file and download it later in the day or the following day. It more likely will be already updated by then. If you have more questions regarding the add-on, I also have the ArcDPS Discord in the description. Once it's downloaded and the file is in your Guild Wars 2 folder, it's time to start your game. To open up ArcDPS, press Alt, Shift, and T to open up the main menu, and Alt, Shift, H to hide all of the ArcDPS windows. You can click on area stats and select as many as you need. I have strips, cleanses, damage, our own squad downs, and metrics to show FPS and ping spikes to keep an eye out for secret groups trying to pop up on us. Right click on a bar and you can click sort advanced to choose what you want it to show you. Right click on the bar and select stats exclude and select versus NPCs and versus gadgets. This way you only get reports of damage done against other players. However, if you're doing fractals, raids, strikes, or anything else against an NPC, then obviously have the NPCs unchecked. You can also left click on any bar and move it to your heart's desire. Here, you can see how they work live. Thanks to Warrior Kirby and Squirrel and Cheez-Its for letting me record your duel. Whenever you get out of combat, it'll autosave a file that records your group's combat stats and movement. You can choose where you want this file to save to. In the description, I have the link for the website to upload it to. Once the file is uploaded, have fun exploring what it offers. When you're viewing your file, you can see a ton of information such as your general stats, buff, damage, downs, how far you were from the tag, and many other things. At the very top, you can select to view the fight from the map view. Here, you can see your movement, when and where people went down, as well as the rotations and other information. Like I said, this is an excellent resource. Have fun exploring. Well, that about wraps up this guide on how to set up your Arc DPS, how to view reports, and how it can benefit your group. A few more things though. If you step foot into PvE content, your Arc DPS settings will be back to default until you change them. Afterwards, your PvE settings will be independent from your World of the World settings and ArcDPS is not working PvP at the time of this video. If you think this video can help a friend or guildie, please feel free to share this with them to help them out. Thank you so much for being here, have a great day, see you on the Borderlands, and until next time.